All right, to the congregation, to the congregation. of hems in that oh my goodness what a cute lala <sighs> all right <laughs> i like seeing people going for the uh keeping with the 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 naming schemes of their their race the, and the lala names are so cute all right hello lucia your deeds have uh, have scattered the dark clouds that have long loomed over Ishgard. On my oath, we shall not squander the bright future you have won for us. Thanks, Lucio. Lucia. All right, Amrick. Yo, what up? It brings me joy to see you safely return to us, Kelwin. What news from Zelfatol? Yes, yeah, so we stopped the summoning. I had a bit of an encounter with the Warrior's Darkness, you know. Then we were not too late. On behalf of Ishgard, I offer you my deepest thanks. No problem, dude. As for we who remain behind, Mistress Shistola has been t tending to Mistress Alizé in her absence. And I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. Heck yeah. I imagine you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with the Warrior of Darkness. Warriors of Darkness. I know I do. Come. Let me show you her, her room. Do not worry, her condition is much improved. She is a resilient one, much like her brother. Alize. I like the, these rooms, there was a lot of light in. I know we've been here before with a scene. Alize. Alize. How are you feeling? You're okie dokie. Well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. I know I didn't say this before, but yay, Alizé's new voice actor. I like this one better than her old voice actor in uh, in uh, A Realm Reborn. When they told me you had departed for Zelfatol, I found that I could rest. The outcome seemed a mere formality, as did your safe return. Thank oh, Alizé. Thank you, my friend. Dude, no problem. The outcome seemed to more mere formality as you shaved a turn. Of course, of course. Of course she saw- Well, listening, things sh could go awry, but... She can always go awry. But thanks for your faith in me, I guess. Smile. I take it your mission was a success. Yep. Determined nod. Yeah, so when we stopped the summoning and then the Warriors of Darkness came and then they spoke As all the shit needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Asians. Oh uh, yeah, they said said so themselves. But to save another world? I think not. I think not. Oh, you you doubt their story in its entirety. I don't doubt their story, but I doubt that being in league with the Asians would mean to save anything, really. Anything in relation to us. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alizé. Why? Yeah, why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. They, they've continued slaying primals? I guess if, like, the Asians, 
like give the these tribes mean to summon to summon them and then they slay them immediately they'll always get there before we do adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the scion stead are they trying to get people to lose faith in the scions Underhanded. Assassins for you, though. The warriors of darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumors, you stumbled upon the Asians' involvement. And decide to follow them on your own, Alice. Hey, please. <laughs> Safety, dude. Yes, exactly. Forgive me. But if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? Yeah, that's my question as well. Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? To prompt an escalation. To deepen the beast tribe's oh. feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. I mean, we've been, sl so we've been slaying, you know, primals, and I guess that has been driving some desperation in the beast tribes, you know, to see that their gods can be slain. <sighs> but we've also been trying to make reparations with the tribes as well. I guess that's not happening here, they're just trying to keep driving their their heel into the beast tribes. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. News of man's victories over Nidhogg must have surely sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. I don't know why specifically. Like, oh no, they've defeated Nidhogg. Panic. Nidhogg has no relationship to them. Power answered with greater power, death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Yep. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Once again, it's not like we've been seeking reparations with the tribes as well, but you know, it's like if, if slaying the, the primals, we're technically also reaping of that desperation, but we're also like saving the land as well. We can't just let the primals be, or else they just keep consuming ether and causing havoc. So, I'm just saying it's not completely unlike what we've been doing. Yet, that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. Uh, say what? Are they trying to... We cannot let that happen. Are they trying... Are they saying that they're trying to send Faithful towards... Zodiac? I feel like there... I feel like there could be easier means to gain followers for Zodiac than that. It should come as no surprise... But Alize and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. Of course, dude, of course. It's always been the Asians' hand beside, behind primal summonings. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Do you think, Sir Emmerich? Sir Emmerich? Yeah, we weren't expecting this help, but thank you. He owes us. 
wants to return the favor in kind. As a member of the Aeorsian Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asian's dealings with my father. <laughs> yeah. So the Asian's dealings with, their, with his father, I guess he, they did influence his father towards the primal summoning, but the, your father was just, did, did end up slaying the Asians. Like he, he was, he, he, he didn't trust the Asians. It's not like he worked f with them. He just like Yeah, he was he, didn't, he wasn't necessarily swayed by them in, in, in entirely. <laughs> yeah, they tried to use each other. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. That he has. Okay, so Shuler and Kryle are going to the Ixal. Let us consult with Orianja then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Yeah, let's go see Orianja. We'll see what he has to say. Oh, wait. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. Yeah, Alizé's been on a journey. But Alize, you Yeah, you just recovered, dude. Nope, she's determined. You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new <laughs> outfit I prepared for you. Taro has Taro has been making outfits for everybody. How did she she didn't even know Alice had, would be here unless while well, Alice was in the sick bed while we were away, Taro was just like, you know what will really help? <laughs> when Alice wakes up, I'm gonna make her an outfit, and she just fucking went to it, dude. <laughs> Fucking Tataro, master crafter. Alrighty, alrighty. Alfino? To think that the three of us plumbed the depths of the coils. Hey, we get a coils line! And confronted Bahamut himself. Had I not been there, I would struggle to believe it. Shortly after we parted ways, I heard that she had taken to the road on her own, apparently on a journey of self-discovery, precisely where to I never learned, though I suspect that was by design. So she enjoyed hearing tales of our exploits, did she? Hmm. Just one single coil slide. <laughs> Still have like these weird like platformy boots though. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Boom shakalaka, new outfit for Alize. Putting the twins in different outfits. Right, then shall we be off? Jotaro never ceases to impress, though for a moment I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. <laughs> yeah, like in A Realm Reborn they had the same outfits and like the only way to differentiate them was slight facial differences and like the hair tie ribbons being different colors. <laughs> Praise the twelve she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching clothes. 
Do you remember that time at the studio when th that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered, Sister, please, she was not my... Ahem, can we not have this conversation in front of the Warrior of Light? Please don't embarrass me in front of the Warrior of Light, Alice. <laughs> So be it. Another time, perhaps. To be honest, Kelwyn, I wasn't planning on seeking you out just yet. When I set forth on my journey, I did so with grand ambitions. Yay, we are getting Coil's lines. Those are dumb boots? Yeah, I completely agree. I don't know why they gave her platform shoes. I also wish they'd given her proper pants, because it's cold in Ishgar. She's gonna get cold. My poor girl. Yeah, the boots are also a little bit dumb. When I set forth on my journey, I did so with grand ambitions. As you may recall, I promised I would not disappoint you. I'm sure you haven't, Alizé. I'm sure you haven't. I pray you'll forgive me if I do. You could never, Alizé. <gasps> we get a dialogue line! <laughs> A pleasure to have you with us. I've been meaning to ask about the carriage. What carriage? Welcome to the fight. <laughs> um, what carriage? The very start of the game? Like, why they were on the carriage? They were asleep, they were asleep on the carriage, but why are we asking them about that? I'm curious, what, the di what would the dialogue be? curious i'm curious but i don't know like why would we why would we bring that up now she was just talking about i hope i hope i don't disappoint you and then i'm gonna follow it up by like hey by the way about the carriage right <laughs> about the carriage This is the first world chance to do so. We had all the time in the coil shit to ask anything about the carriage. Okay, so she just said, I hope I don't disappoint you. Welcome to the fight. A pleasure to have you with us. We'll do this one. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Regardless, you won't disappoint us, dude. New comments aside, I must say that you seem different, more resolute than when, when, when last we met. You have the look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delusion of grandeur, nor will I pretend to have found myself or any such thing. I'm here today because I would regret it if I weren't. That is all. Heck yeah, I'll say. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands then and see if Uriyanshe can be of assistance. Okay, okay. Quick thing. If I abandon this quest... Will it get, send me back to Alphano and I can do that all over again and then try the different dialogue options? Is that something I can do? For science. Ah, I can't abandon it. Fuck. Alright. <laughs> Never mind. An unabandonable quest. Shoot. Okay. That's fine. That's why I went with the dialogue option I went with. But I am curious about what the carriage line would be. 
All right, then to the Waking Sands, I guess, to the Waking Sands. Let me teleport. We'll go to Limza, and then we'll take the boat. I think that's cheaper than going to, uh... Maybe at an inn, but it's, is, it, is it technically a, a cutscene? I'll test that out. I'll test that out. Let's for science this. <laughs> All right, unending journey. Let's see. Main story, a realm reborn through Shadowbringers. Lee. It says a realm reborn. Okay, no, here we go. Heaven's Word. Dragon Song, post Dragon Song. Promises kept. Shadows of the first. No, this is just this is just the, that cutscene. But there is this cutscene with Amaric. This one had a dialogue option. So I guess, but only if it's in like a main cutscene like this. I don't think maybe with the text cutscenes, maybe it's only the voice stuff. But yeah, this was the the dinner with Amaric. And I was wondering what one of these dialogue options lines was, so let's zoom through this real quick. <laughs> and we'll see if a dialogue option comes up here. So I guess if it's voiced, you can go back and try out the other dialogue options if you wanted to. Though I have lived in these lands my entire life. It yeah, truly yours is a marvelous journey. Yeah, here we go. We get a text. I want I wanted to see a, well, I've seen some people do this, perhaps a bit long for my liking. Um, because I watched some of their- I wanted to see what the other dialogue options were. Um, we picked Why Not Join Me on the Next. That was the dialogue line that we picked, and I think most people picked this one. Um... And if you say this one, though, though perhaps a bit long for my liking, he, he would say something- he said something like, Yeah, the path for Ishgard was, like, long as well, and we still have longer yet to, you know, recover everything with Ishgard, etc., etc. Um, so let's see, it wasn't all sunshine and lemon cakes. I want to see what, what we get if we say this. Oh, we look down. Ooh, forlorn expression. Nor would I presume to imply otherwise. Neither I nor any man alive can truly understand what you have endured, and I cannot say with any confidence that I would have acquitted myself as well under the circumstances, much less grown stronger for it. By your deeds, you have helped us to lay the foundation for lasting reform. Yeah, that was that was the that was the line that that we get there. That's a good line. That's a good line. See, I wish we could see other dialogue options like that, but for the other cutscenes. But I guess only if it's voiced, unless uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. This is all like. I guess some of these, if it, yeah, if it's a, if it, mm, some of these, like, cutscenes. I guess if it's an important side story cutscene, but, like, all of this is, like... Okay, sure. Okay. Alright, well, that was for science. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot there was a boat to the Waking Sands as well. But then I was just like, oh, okay, this... Okay, here we are, here we are. They just jump us straight into the cutscene with Uriange. All right. Uriange, apologies for calling upon you unannounced. Why, Master Alphano, would that the scholar had been... had seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming? What bringeth thee and thine here this day? 
The warriors of darkness have returned. Pray, allow us to explain. Still ignored. So anyway, Uriyanje, this has totally happened, and I know you completely weren't there, Wink, to see this. But yeah, what a mysterious Ellison fellow was also there. I too have heard tales in recent days of primal beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. Alas, as thou didst observe, this serveth but to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals with redoubled fervor. We have two objectives at this time, to identify and remove the source of the beast tribe's crystals, and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. The second is easier said than done, of course. While we, we were fortunate enough to learn of the Ixil's plans before they came to fruition, I should be surprised if the Warriors of Darkness and the Asians did not have similar designs elsewhere, of which we have no knowledge. Thou wert wise to come hither. For this very day did I receive tidings most troubling from across the Strait of Melthor. Where? Oh, Gamoro stirreth. Oh, Titan. And there are whispers that the Lord of Crags neareth his return. Mere rumors, mark thou. But in light of thine own discoveries, thou canst ill afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. Aye. We must be certain that the truth of the truth of the matter for ourselves. So let's consult with the Maelstrom forces stationed at Camp Overlook, Cohen. Stoic nod. Thank you for your counsel, Riage. Pray inform us should you learn aught else. I shall. Meanwhile, as a staring. Oh, here we go. She's gonna confront him. If I may, brother, Uriange, is there anything else you would like to say? Hmm? Uriange? Hmm? Mysterious Ellison? Hmm? Alize? If not, then never mind. I only ask because you are normally rather more verbose. Something wrong, Uriange? Hmm? Hmm? Well, he's going right up to him. She's going right up to him. Nothing to add? Very well. Ere we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke of how the Ardor had the power to break down the barriers between planes, that our worlds might be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. There was lots of people that was that was researching the rejoining, but they got taken out by the Asians. That's what happened to the to the um, students of Baldassian in the Isle of Val. They were studying the rejoining, and they got fucking wiped out. It's kind of dangerous to be studying if it puts a, to, it puts a target on your back. Being nowhere near as rovered as you, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I have heard tell of a promising tome. The Garen Oracles? Mayhaps you should start there. Yeah, you know, this book that could be found in libraries. A library like Gubal Library? But I'm sure you haven't been there, have you, Uriange? <laughs> Stare. She knows. Are you actually gonna play dumb? <laughs> no, okay. Bye, I leave. Nope, that's all, that's all, that's all. Oh, Riage playing the cards tight to his chest. Camp Overlook, was it? Very well. We're just like, oh, what was that? <laughs> we don't know anything about this. You know, we, we have no reason to be suspicious of, of uh, Uriange. Now, we, the player, have seen him in cutscenes with the Asians, But, uh... Our characters have not. Alright, camp overlook. Let's teleport. Alrighty, already here we are. Alpha no Alize. Twins reunited at last. Look at you two. 
Come, let us speak with Commander Blodin and see if there is any truth to these rumors concerning Titan's return. That had better be the sulfur. What, what had better be the sulfur? See, so some, something's, something's fishy around here, and it ain't the sulfur, it's a riage, eh? Blodin. Yo, dude, what up? Seven ills at this rate, I'll have to appeal to the Maelstrom Command for reinforcements. Mm, whatever it is, is it? We don't want- whatever it is, we don't want any- any. Dude, do you not recognize me? Tis I, the Warrior of Light. Well, fancy that. Just when my Cobalt problem looks like it's coming to a head, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn turn up itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant timing is what it is. Right then, let's get to it. Commander Bluden is eager to put you to work. So our friendly neighbors in Ungomaro have got much more aggressive as of late, just as you said. Matter of fact, our scouts spotted one sniffing about the stores just now, like looking to make off with an armful of crystals. I'll be damned if I'm to let that happen. Lend a hand and help us search the camp for the little bugger, would ya? Well, what are you waiting for? We can't just go letting thieving bloody kobolds walls into our camp and take whatever they fancy. Okay, we gotta speak with Alf now. Alright, I'll say you what up. You soak with the commander then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently there might be kobold here being sneaky trying to take crystals. Our maelstrom friends seem notably more agitated than when we first arrived. Do you happen to know why that might be? Thieving kobolds. Kobolds in the camp, you say? That would appear to corroborate Oriage's information, yes. But to be so reckless as to infiltrate a maelstrom camp and draw attention to their efforts and pass is passing strange. Yeah, I didn't know that this was... I think I know what this is, and I didn't know this was this early on either. Well, there will be time to think on this later. For the present, we must do everything in our power to prevent Titan summoning, and that means finding and questioning this kobold. Oh, here, Alpha no searching over here. Surely all this commotion cannot have escaped the kobold's notice. If he has any sense, he will attempt to quit this place, will he not? No, desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. Alizé searching over here. One of the scouts said he looked quite small for a kobold, could be hiding somewhere like this. Alright, time to look see for the kobold. No, we already looked around that building. The outer area. Hey yo, hey yo. Koboldling. It's just a wee kobold, guys. It's koboldling, dude. So wee. There they go. We're chasing, dude. We're chasing. Oh my god, they're hiding under a bridge, dude. Stay back. Away, far back. I am not a. not a. Yeah, it's no use. Pointless. Hopeless. No use. Dude, wait, it's not pointless or hopeless. I don't draw weapons. Tell us what's pointless or hopeless. Why you attempt to uh, infiltrate camp? We're really chasing this dude down, though. We're really chasing this dude down. Hiding out all the way over here, dude. 
Oh, this is such a good hiding spot, dude. Well done. Please, don't hurt me. I only wish to talk. Yes, yes, just talk. If you don't talk, then let's talk. Hi. Hi. Gah. Wait, I can't talk if you keep running, dude. Is that why they approached the Maelstrom camp? Because they wanted to talk? They were afraid they were just going to be attacked? Don't worry, dude. We'll talk. We'll talk. I love the kobold design. It's... it's... the, the long tail is like... they're like wee little, little fucking chinchillas, dude. This was stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But I tell no one, then everyone will. Oh, he wanted to come tell us. Gah! She, she found me again. What to do, what to do, what to do? Wait, dude, hold on, stop. I want to help. I... I come in peace. Uh, only to talk. Speak, say, talk. So, please, please, do not hurt me. I won't, dude, I won't. Stay your hands, bitches. Now you come with a prayer to chase this kobold everywhere? So this is our wily kobold infiltrator, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee. Huzzah, we got him. Fine work, scions. Wait, this one wants to just talk. So, little one, thought you could sneak into my camp, did ya? Plotting to steal my crystals, were ya? No, 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 he just wants to talk. Don't hurt him. No, 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 I came to talk, to ask for help. But when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted, and I... I... Now, now, let us all take a deep breath and discuss this, like... Civilized individuals. What is your name, child? Good job, Alphano. Pikmin Gabu of the 620th Order. At least I will be Pikmin one day. Well met, Gabu. I am Alphano, and this is my sister, Alize. And I'm Kelwyn. Yeah. Kelwyn, the woman who found you, is our friend. And now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Friendship. Now, Commander Blowden here thinks you wanted to take his crystals, Gabu, but you said you came to ask for help. Why to us and not your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? Way to, way to, bring, way to bring things in. Oh, no. Ever the diplomat, you're doing great. I, um, uh... Take your time, friend. Take your time. No one is going to hurt you, all right? Not while we're here, I promise. Alize. Way to comfort him. Good job. You just we. The, 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 the patriarch, he, he's, the, the patriarch is going to summon the great father again, and you have to stop him, Be beat him, fight him, stop him. I'm so, I'm surprised that they, like, oh, but obviously we've encountered, like, lots of people the beast tribes that disagree with the primal summoning. Gabu's parents said they didn't want it, along with many others, but the Patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry. He said that if they didn't have iron in their hearts, they would serve as, as coke for the furnace. And then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen any of them since. So any of them that disagree with them... Um... Yeah, there's, see, there's turmoil within the Beast Tribes. I haven't done any of the uh, Realm Reborn Beast Tribes, so... So I don't get to see the questing involving that. I'll do it eventually, but yeah. Coke for the furnace. 
I did not want to believe it, but I've heard tales of foci fashioned from the bones of beastmen. No. Beast tribe quests are more silly than serious? Oh, I thought it would maybe give additional beast tribe lore. Like, I'm hoping, you know, I haven't done it yet, but I was hoping that the, um, Vath one would maybe involve us learning more about the One Mind. Because I keep speaking about this One Mind and how the One Mind facilitates stuff like that, but we, like, I don't know if the One Mind is a person or, like, a thing or just, like, they just call it, like, it's not really anything and it's just sort of, like... Just like uh, 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 the what they uh, word that they use for like the the like I, d I don't know a lot about the 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 one mind like I don't know what exactly it entails. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a hive mind, but whenever they refer to the one mind, I'm not sure if they're referring to it as it's just like okay, this is just what we call the collective consciousness, or if there is like a leader that is facilitating this this connection between all of them. Because I know there's like the one mind group. Like, there's the non-mind, and then there's the one-mind. Yeah, but I don't know if the, if the one-mind have, like... If there's a leader that's facilitating that, or if they just, they're just calling the one-mind the effect of having the connected consciousness. The quests do go into the inner workings of the beast tribes, but they are also generally silly to you. Okay, okay. But there is, like, a little bit more lore about the beast tribes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I figured there would be some more lore. That's all I really want for the Beast Tribe quests. <laughs> some additional Beast Tribe lore. Alright. Bones of Beast Men, right. Which worshippers use in their rituals, hoping to summon more powerful incarnations of their gods. So all the... Dissidents, dissidents, all the people that don't agree with the sun they get turned for fuel to the fire anyway. By the twelve, that is... that is sickening. No one listen to Gabu. No matter how much she cries, pleads, begs, cries. They do not listen. Only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the Great Father. Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents, too. So please help Gabu stop Patriarch and save his parents. We will. Commander, advise Maelstrom Command that Titan summoning is imminent. Should the worst come to worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Kobold's stronghold and secure their crystals, and free the prisoners. Well, you're sure. You'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready just in case. I tried talking to the others, but they wouldn't listen. So even though I was afraid, I came here. You did good, Gabu. You did good. face there we need to be, we need to like really be on top of a character to get the proper hug animation anyway the idea was there do you know that there are uh, there are collectors who will pay a fortune for beastman ritual artifacts just perverse yeah the bones of the fallen dude sickening i have faith that we may yet stop the ritual we will we would surely have detected the associated etheric disturbance that Titan manifested already. But I cannot speak for the prisoners. Oh, you know what? Technically, stopping that Garuda summoning was the first uh, summoning we had stopped in quite a long while. Actually stopping the summoning before a primal was summoned. Let's go. <laughs> but I cannot speak for the prisoners. Twelve have mercy. They would even contemplate sacrificing their own flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters, 
mothers and fathers. Yeah, I mean, I remember, I think with the, um... Leviathan stuff, like... No, I'm pretty sure, no, I think it was Merlewood that gunned the person down, but... No, wait. No, wait, yeah, no, I think, I think what happened was Merlewib gunned the leader dude down, and the leader dude just took over the guy next to him's body. So I feel like that's the same vibes. They do primal worshippers, man. Once they temp it, it's all over. Time is of the essence. We must see what else Gabu knows and formulate a plan without further delay. All right, so Garuda was there, but specifically when the dude summoned her during during the fight, he said a sliver of her power. So I like to imagine he like summoned like just a little piece of, of the power, not her in her entirety. All right, so I don't know what the lore behind that is, but you know. I don't think that was a full summoning. I'm just gonna say it, it's not a full summoning. Shifting nervously from foot to foot, Gabu struggles to meet your gaze. It's okay, little dude. I her great father Titan loves crystals. Cherishes, covets, loves them. And if we gather enough, he will return. That's why the Patriarch told everyone to go forth and gather them. So I was thinking, if we take all the crystals away, maybe the Great Father won't come? Yep, that's that's right. You are, you're smart, Gabu. Very good. Uh, no, wait. Very good, Gabu. I was just thinking the same thing. Do you know where the, these crystals are stored? I know, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Several spots, each defended by different order. Gabu wanted to steal them, but he was too afraid to go alone. Yes, yes, too afraid to go alone. But together, we can take them away and hide them. Come, come, Gabba will lead you to the first cache. All right, squad, roll out. We kill this dude, dude? <laughs> Pray, see the crystals. Alice and I will stand guard for any errant patrols. That hardly seems fair. Then again, they only have themselves to blame. It hardly seems fair that we took them down or what? Quickly, quickly. A cache of crystals. You know, I, you know, they they did say we stopped the Garuda summoning in that quest, though. So I'm taking it as we stop the summoning. All right, yeah, they had like a little bit of the Garuda in that fight, but I don't think it was it was just it was just a sliver of her power, quote unquote. So I'm taking that as we successfully stopped the summoning. <laughs> Do you have them all? Good. Lead on, Gabu. This way. This way. Just stuffing this into my infinite pockets. Oh wait, I overshot. Oh. <laughs> no Alize. What are you waiting for? We stand lookout, you take the crystals. God damn it, get one. If they find us, you'll protect me, won't you? Of course, Gabu. With my life. Hmm, if I did not know any better, I would say this crate was. This crate was what? What are you getting at, Alphano? Placed here purposely? Time is short. Have you the crystals? We should move on to the next cache. If you have the crystals, we should move on to the next cache. Did you hear me, brother? Brother! Aye, aye, it's just that... Ah, 
I'm quite certain that the crate once bore Ishgardian seals. Say what? Someone took great pains to remove all traces, but enough remains to make out the pattern. See for yourself. I struggle to imagine kobolds traveling to Kowarthus to obtain crystals, much less bothering to conceal their origins. So you're saying someone else is yoinking crystals from Ishgard and then removing the things these were gifted to them by the Aesians. I suspect these crystals were smuggled into Vilbrand by another party, most likely pawn of the Asians, as Thancred speculated. Serious face. I don't understand. Who are... Who... Who are Asians? Do, do they worship Great Father Titan too? No, they're just looking to sow chaos. To pit us against each other. Ah, never mind about that. As Alice said, we do not have a lot of time. Can you listen nice cash, Gabu? Yeah, Gabu, we just know they're evil people that are looking to pit people against each other for no reason. Yes, yes, of course. Gabu knows the way. The next one is the last, and it's very large, very big, very huge, very large. Okay, just right across the way here, right across the way. Just gonna yo yoink, sit down here real quick. Right, Alize? We should pack up the crystals and leave, now. The kobolds could stumble upon our handiwork at any moment. Gabu said the cache would be here, but unless it's remarkably well hidden. But, but, but they were here. Heaps, heaps, and heaps of crystals. And they've moved them. Though you cast about for a time, you see no signs of the crystals. Confounded. What about you, Kelvin? Any luck? No. There are heaps and heaps of crystals. They ain't here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But this cannot be. Gabu saw them. Spied, spotted, saw. Think, brother, think. They must have moved them, yes? The question is where to and why? Within Ongomoro, where they summoned Titan once before and mean to do so again, is the only explanation. What about mother and father and the others? We have to help them. And we will, Gabu, we will. Stay calm. We still have time. They have used to call the remaining crates, yes? If they had, then they would have found the other caches empty and sounded the alarm. Nevertheless, I believe the time for stealth has passed. We must breach the, the navel and seize the remaining crystals. There is no other way to prevent Titan summoning. But first, give me your crystals that I might deliver them onto Commander Blowden's custody. We dare not take them to the bowels of the mountain. Good plan, good plan. Alphano is right. It would be folly to deliver the kobolds the very thing we sought to deny them. Mm hmm. Mother, father, we are cunning. The crystals, Kelwin, if you'd be so kind. Now, here we go. A large quantity of crystals intended for Titan summoning. Thank you. I shall deliver them to Camp Overlook for safekeeping and brief Commander Blowden in the situation. Pray go on ahead. As I recall, there is an aetherite within the Ugromo. Ugamaro mines that should deliver you to the navel. Gabu doubtless knows the way. Wait for me there. I shall rejoin you anon. Strange. I would have thought you eager to remain in the thick of the action. But if this is what you would prefer, then Godspeed, brother. This way, this way. Anyway, part of that, but good job that squad. Oh, I forgot we got to go all the way around for this one. Mm. 
Alright, here we are, here we are. I hope the patriarch and my parents are there. Ah, oh, I take it this is the aether that we seek. Right then. As soon as Alphano arrives, we go. I trust you are feeling suitably heroic, Kelvin. There's no telling what sort of resistance we'll face in there. I'm always suitably heroic. Second Order Patriarch Zadar. Quickly, you clods. Briskly, swiftly, quickly. I will not suffer any further delays. Oh, we teleporting in with Gabu. Is, are you sure you want to be here, Gabu? Lay down your arms and surrender. We have your crystals. There will be no summoning this day. Over dwellers here. But how did you? I mean, we've teleported in by the eighth right before. I don't know why you don't move that thing, dude. Where are my parents, Patriarch? Where are they? Oh no, are they already dead, dude? Do we not even get the chance? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mother. Father. Coke for the furnace. You monster. How could you? I, we are but servants of the Lord of Crags. We are his, that he may drink of our blood and partake our flesh, that he might draw upon the strength of his children and defend them from the tyranny of the Overdwellers. That is not a sacrifice you make for others. No, Alizé, not yet. I understand, Patriarch, I do. Your fear, your anger, your hate. You do anything to protect your people, anything to deliver them from despair, whatever it takes to ensure that those who threaten you can never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering on your own kith and kin. You have sacrificed the lives of the very people you sought to protect. That's right. Never let your hatred for the enemy outweigh the well-being of that which you seek to protect. I believe there is a there's a quote that's just like like I love not the sword for its sharpness nor the arrow for this for its swiftness. I love only that which they defend. But, in your, but it need not be this way, Patriarch. Renounce this bloody course. Cease your attempts to summon your guard and work with us, together, to build a lasting peace. It's going to be hard for the Kobolds, though, because they... There was going to be a lasting peace, but then... They... The freaking Maelstrom went against... Like, how can they believe our words when they, we've already broken their pact before? Another piece to be abandoned at the Overdweller's convenience. Yeah, see, there you go. Oathbreakers, all of you. Liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. You take and you take and you take, and when you've had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last until you grow hungry again. He's right. Frickin' Merleweb, dude. I can't deny it. 
And when we dare to defend ourselves, you declare that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live. That our god drains the land of ether and brings naught but suffering, death, destruction, suffering upon us all. Well, we're not liars in that regard. I will hear no more lies from you and yours, Overdweller. You've ruined your own lands. You will not ruin ours. He's not wrong, but surely this is not the course. I said I'd come for you. And I did. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Say something. Please. 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 Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. The music has started. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Oh, geez, man, a fervent wish. strikes his hand against his own people because different will from which he was summoned seven hells I'm here I'm here I'm here I don't does this usually happen that we attack the person who summoned him Oh, I'm sitting in Carbuncle to the face, dude. Don't touch him, dude. Let's get out of here. He must be away. Get the wee guy out of here, dude. Get the wee guy out. No, we're not staying to defeat Titan. Okay. Obviously you're not. Dot dot dot. He's breathing and I don't see any injuries, but I can't seem to wake him. By the twelve. How could I be so foolish? I should have known better than to let Gabu accompany us, given what we would like to find. There was the chance that... We could have saved them. But yeah, he's was a youngling. We maybe should have asked him to wait. His anguish and despair have served to birth a primal, just as surely as with the supplication of the faithful. Okay, but weaker though, I assume, because it's only this, it was only the one person has assumed to a bunch of people's prayers. Worse, being born of such tumultuous emotion, this incarnation of Titan seems incapable of naught but violence. Yeah, he's even gonna tag the ones who summon him, which is usually counterproductive to what the primals want. If we have one cause for optimism. It is that while many crystals were present, they represented but a fraction of the quantity intended for the summoning ritual. Meaning that Titan must be far weaker than planned. Be that as it may, he is yet a primal, and the longer we leave him to bleed the land of Aether, the stronger he will grow. 
and should Titan be permitted to leave on Gomorrah, more lives will be lost. The Maelstrom will rally their troops, and the cycle will continue. Kelvin, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Crags once more? Always. Thank you, my friend. Alice and I will tend to Gabu. When you are finished with the Primal, look for us in Camp Overlook. We will be expecting you. Anything else to say, Alvano? I have faith that you will return to us, just as you always have. Oh, we're just doing- we're just doing title Titan Heart again? Fight well, Kelvin. Fight well. Alright, use Duty Fire to confront Titan in the naval hard. Alright, we go again. Are you coming with me, Renick? I assume so, I assume so. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Nope, duty. Duty finder. Mm, get off of Zelfethal. Mm, trials. Realm Reborn. The Naval Hard. Of course, okay. Uh, come on. Your adventuring companion. Thanks, Runic. Oh, shoot. Right, I need to be on the edge of the platform, because, but not on the edge that was falling off, but the lesser damage it does. Shit. I'm gonna have to remember the Titan fight mechanics. Also, that I have lesser, not all my abilities. God, the boulders. Back out so that we're not melee with the boulder that's about to explode. All right, excellent. I died to the boulders last time I did this fight. I said, come, I said, come, I'm here, I'm here. Mother, father, I can't, I can't find you. Uh, go for the hide. Dialogue here for Titan. Oh no, okay. Wake up. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a lot of damage, dude. Why, 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 why? The damage is still going. 
Get somebody else rest him good because I, I did not have my swift cast up because I used it to get another uh to get a, a faster cast off. Fuck. You know that? Oh, uh, died again. Oh no, not the explodies again, dude. Somebody else revived him. All right. Player commendations. Let's give it to our other healer. Wait. Oh, shit. They already left. Uh, let's give it to Tank then. Dark Knight. I'm unlikely to play Dark Knight soon. Craig Coffer will read on that one. All right. All right. We got to go back and speak to Alpha now at Camp Overlook. I find it cool that they gave uh, Titan a specific uh, dialogue during that fight that related to this this quest, even though it was the same uh, fight. I am lost. Hold on. Accept teleport. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Runic. <laughs> 